I had the day off at work, so I figured I'd spend my time actually learning more about Godot instead of just mindlessly playing random video games. Let's start by adding a tile set to my 2D scene, and then I'm gonna hop over into the Kenny 2D assets and download this nice one bit pack. These are some amazing free assets. You can just go and download yourself and slide right on into our tile set. And I think it uses 16 by 16 as the default, which is perfect, but I need to adjust the separation here for one X, one Y, because there's a little bit of padding in the version of the Kenny asset I downloaded. Downloaded. Uh, now I can just easily take and grab tiles and throw them right into the tile set. At this point, we're not going to think too much about what we're actually building. I just want to block out some basic structure so I can get my character moving and jumping around this scene as the next step. Click F5 to run the project, and that looks good enough for now. So it's time to build the character, and I'll do that by adding in a new node. It is the character body 2D, which might be new in Godot 4, but I'm not quite sure. I'm going to then just add a quick atlas texture here, and I'm going to grab one of these just kind of placeholder character sprites so we have something to look at for our character. The next step here is to add in a collision shape. We're going to use just a simple rectangle collision and then I'm gonna make it a bit smaller than the actual sprite and I'm doing this so that when the character is actually standing on the ground you can see it actually connecting so you might have to adjust it based off the art and then if you hold alt you can go ahead and move the actual whole character body not just the sprite to the right location clicking f5 again to run the project you can uh, I think I forgot something here let's see Yes, the physics layer for my tile set. Oh my gosh, I can't, I, you just need to paint that on to the actual tile so then your character can collide with it. We'll go ahead and run the project again and see now that, oh, yes, it is now standing on the tile and we can even move around. And I love how quick and easy Godot makes that whole process. It just, it feels intuitive, smooth, and just easy to get something running. Now, forgive me, I forgot to film this next part where I was designing and building out how I'm gonna actually mine these tiles, but my idea was to have an area 2D that once you click on it and you click on a tile, the tile gets removed, and then from there, you can easily expand that area 2D and have a larger mining range. Now, for auto tiling, I need to jump into a sprite and adjust the assets so that I can actually get the tiling to work as expected, Uh, but, but I forgot how to do this. I know I did it before, so I'm gonna use my older project as a reference point for what tiles I need and then how to actually configure the bit mapping in Godot 4. All right, let's see if it works as expected. Oh, of course it doesn't. Um, maybe it's this button over here. Uh, let's try that out and oh, 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 oh. Uh, all right. I, I know it's a little thing to get that working, but it does feel really good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and create a level that I can actually go and stand in and mine. And the uh, tile map's not updating. Why is it not updating? All right, I, I watched a little bit of a tutorial, maybe Jackie codes, maybe I missed something perfectly in Jackie's videos here. Let's see. All right, I made some adjustments and, and it's still, it's doing something different, which is good, but that's not right. So maybe the forums, yes, the forums will have my answer here. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna make some changes and, <laughs> Nope, no, 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 that's that's not that's not it. All right, it's a bug. It's gotta be a bug in Godot 4. I know it's a, a new version, Godot 4.2, but let's see, I'm gonna make a few changes and we'll we'll hop in. Oh, that's that's worse. Those aren't actually tiles right there. That's that's definitely okay. I am stuck in debugging hell. I've been here for three hours. I need a break. I need to go do something else. Let's go pet the cats. Let's come back with a clear head. Okay, that actually helped quite a bit. I figured out the problem. I was just passing in the wrong cells into this little function here. And now I can actually mine the tiles and have the auto tiling update. And it looks nice. Like this is a pretty quick and dirty demo. I have no clue if I'm gonna keep working on this project or not. I have some ideas for where I could take a game like this or take this system. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned something about Godot or are finally gonna take that urge to just kind of prototype, just play around with an engine and see what your brain can create. I've been Aramis. I hope you have a wonderful day.